hello my dear friends and students this is nikhil again in this video i am going to discuss about uh, uh, dealing with problems numericals but in per unit system or the per unit topic of the power systems so here uh, i have taken a problem uh, just uh, have a look at this problem so in the problem it is asked that uh, there is a three phase synchronous generator okay three phase synchronous generator it is delivering 10 MVA at a voltage of 10.5 kV and the line impedance is given as 5 ohms and he is asking you to find out the voltage drop in the line in per unit value ok voltage drop in the line per unit as well as the volts or the actual value also he has given the base values or the reference base values as uh, 12 MVA and 11 kV so seeing this let us write down the given data let's write down the solution now let's make the solution so first uh, let's take the given data given data now he has given you the actual MVA rating of the system so we will write down s actual is equal to how much 10 MVA as well as we have the actual voltage reading of the system also so we'll take VA is equal to 10.5 kVA apart from this he has given the base values of these two parameters so S base is given here 12 MVA and uh, voltage base is given as 11 kV now let us find out the per unit value of uh, uh, MVA rating so S per unit or simply I can uh, write like this SPU S per unit is equal to S actual by S base simply V per unit is equal to V actual by V base so what is S actual 10 what is S base 12 and uh, 10 by 12 is equal to 10 is a uh, let us uh, just do it uh, 10 by 12 so 10 divided by 12 some 0 0.833 0 0.833 and then you also have to find out the voltage per unit also actual voltage is 10.5 kVA I mean 10.5 kV and I'm sorry here it's not kVA here it's kV I'm extremely sorry and uh, yeah 10.5 and, and the take given base is 11 kV again the calculator 10.5 divided by 11 9. 0.9545 okay 0 0.9545 etc something right so using these things i would like to find out the per unit impedance of the system because he has given the actual impedance value also so now we are done with the per unit values of uh, mba or the this uh, power rating and uh, voltage rating now we shall find the per unit value of the impedance because he has given the actual value of impedance that is 5 ohms let us find out the per unit value of uh, per unit value of impedance so what is the uh, formula for per unit value of impedance z per unit is equal to as simple as that z a by z base we know what is z a and how could we find z b so z b can be found from per unit values of s and v also we also we already know that earlier from the circuits uh, from electrical circuits experience we know that power is equal to v square by r r is nothing but now we are talking about ac circuit therefore it is a impedance we can call it so i will say p is equal to uh, v square by z so and uh, when you are talking about z p becomes s so z equal to v square by 
z equal to v square by s. So, we want base value of z b z b v b s b. Now, z a by z b means by z b then this both uh, it becomes reciprocal reciprocal of z b we have to multiply with z a. So, it is s b by v b square. So, this is the uh, you know, formula for per unit value of impedance. This is the most important formula in the complete power systems because in most of the analysis in power systems uh, we come across per unit system and uh, we deal with conversion of actual values of uh, impedances into per unit values and conversion them back converting them back to the actual values and so on and so forth. Therefore, please remember this formula that is why I have kept in red box. Now, let us substitute the values and find out what is the per unit uh, impedance value. So, z per unit is equal to actual value of uh, z is 5 into s b is 12 m v a by 11 square. So, if we do, if we solve this one, uh, it, it should be something like this. 12 by 121 12 by 121 is nothing but 12 by 11 square into 5 so 0.495 is what we got as per unit impedance and it has no units any per unit value does not have any units because you are actually taking the ratio of the same quantity See, Va by Vb, volts, volts, cancel. So, we have no units for per unit values. Similarly, we do not have no units for per unit impedance also here. Whereas, actual values have their own uh, circuit value or the SI standard units. Okay, now we are done with the uh, finding out the per unit impedance also. Now, what next? Now, we have to find out what is the uh, voltage drop per unit as well as actual voltage drop. So, what is the formula for voltage drop in the given any given system like this? So, usually we call voltage drop is equal to I into Z. So, I want to find out per unit voltage drop. So, I require per unit current into per unit impedance. Per unit impedance is available. Now, let us find out per unit current. So, let us go back to the relations again. Uh, now, what is the s per unit so s per unit can be written as v per unit into i per unit isn't it so from this i can find out what is i per unit is equal to s per unit by v per unit and s per unit we have obtained like 0.833 by 0.9545 So, if you solve uh, this uh, thing once again in the calculator 0 0.833 by 0 0.9545, you got 8727.872527. So, I can write uh, simply 0 0.873 something because we got 8727 approximately, this is the same value. So, per unit current we have got. And per unit voltage drop, obviously, you can find out V drop per unit is what we require. So, I per unit into Z per unit. I per unit is 0 0.873 and uh, Z per unit is, what is Z per unit? 495, 0 0.495 into point, I'm sorry, 0 0.495. Again recalculating it 0 0.873 into 0.495. So 0 0.4321. 0 0.4321 is what we got per unit voltage drop. This is one of the required value. So in the question he has asked apart from uh, per unit voltage drop also in volts that means he is asking you to find out the actual volts so so
so what could be the next procedure to find out the actual voltage drop is what you can simply guess but i i know but i'm pretty sure that you will be doing a mistake right now and uh, let me correct that one so let's go let's go with it now we want we drop actual so we drop actual is simply uh, you know we can say v drop actual is equal to uh, v drop base into v drop per unit simply because always per unit values are uh, actual values by base values if you want actual value multiply per unit value into the base value is what we do actually so that's what we expect but we don't know what is the per unit voltage drop we know what is per unit uh, uh, we don't know base voltage drop we know only what is the uh, per unit voltage drop base voltage drop is nothing but always it is the per phase voltage of the base value so what is the base voltage 11 kv by root 3 because voltage drops are always expressed per phase because voltage does not exist be between two phases voltage drop exists in the phase so we always take voltage drop base as the uh, phase value of uh, line current uh, base line current baseline voltage so what is nothing but 11 kV is what we are taking base voltage. The phase voltage would be 11 by root 3. That is the base voltage drop into, I mean, it's not actually base voltage drop also. We can call it base voltage, okay, per phase base voltage. When you are talking about drop, okay, it's per phase base voltage into uh, V drop per unit what we obtained uh, here, 0.4321. So when we solve it, you get 11 by root 3 is 1.732 you got something into 0 0.4321 so 2.744 kV so 2.744 kV or simply 2744 volts so we we have obtained what is required voltage drop per unit and actual voltage drop voltage drop per unit is 0 0.4732 uh, 0 0.4321 and this is 2744 volts okay so in this manner we have to do uh, the problems in per unit system okay thank you and uh, keep uh, stay tuned to the channel for more videos on the same topic now by doing more number of uh, problems we will get more depth insights of the subject so I hope uh, this uh, this series of videos would be helpful to enhance your uh, understanding in this per unit system in power system especially because uh, power system in power system analysis per unit system is a very core uh, tool is which which actually made the uh, analysis very simpler. So that's it. Thank you guys and uh, uh, please like my please like and uh, share this video. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, please drop any comments in the comment section if you have any doubts and so on. We will be discussing. And uh, thank you.